Hi and welcome to the Advanced Renamers tutorial. Advanced Renamer is a free download from the internet that allows you to rename files on your computer in batch mode, which we found makes things a lot quicker and simpler reorganizing and adding sounds to your SD card on either your GC350 or 500 or Drive 1 and Drive 2 of your Outlaw or Night Stalker. The Advanced Renamer is located on the Icotech website under the Information tab. You'll see it's named Batch File Renumbering Freeware and the link to that download is also available when you click on that link. Once you have Advanced Renamer downloaded and ready to go on your system, as you know with the Icotech sounds and the way the callers are set up, they are required to have a three digit number in the name of the sound file. As you see here, I've went and downloaded five of the new sounds available from the website and they do not come with the three digit numbers included. So I've got to add those numbers. Previously, we'd have to do it one at a time, adding them. And if we wanted to put them in the middle of our call list, then that meant we had to manually renumber every sound from that point on. So it was rather time consuming. Now we can do it quick and easily with this renaming program. So I've got the sounds downloaded. I want to import them into my advanced renamer. So I'm going to open up the advanced renamer and couple things to discuss here is we're going to, in order to work it properly, there's only two things you've got to do. You've got to add two methods to this system. First, we're going to add an add, which in this example, we're going to set up the properties. We want three digits, so we're going to go with three zeros and a space in the name. Okay, so that, and then the index we want set at one and use regular expressions and it's going to be applied to the name. So now we have the property set in our add method. We're going to go over here to our directory. I'm going to choose and highlight the AR tutorial folder. That's where I have those five sounds located and I'm going to add them. As you see here, this is a file name that's existing in the folder without the numbers. Here is the new file name that's going to include three digit number and the file name. You see here I've got two spaces in there. So I'm going to adjust that and keep an eye on my new file name. And you'll see here it's got three digit number one space in the file name. So that's how I want to keep it. I want to have this method check marked so that it's active and I want to perform this function. So that's going to quickly add three digit numbers to those sounds files that I downloaded. So I'm going to start my batch. I'll minimize this. I'll go to that folder and it'll show you. Now all these sounds have three digit numbers in them. Yes, they are all triple zeros, but we will take care of that in the next step. So that was successful. Now I want to go back to my renamer. I'm going to uncheck the active. Okay? That way it doesn't perform that next method. The next method I'm going to do is I'm going to renumber those files. The properties for the renumbering method I want is one, absolute number, new number one, skip one, manual padding, and number length of three applied to the name. So now that I've got my method set up and all my properties, I want to go in and I'm going to copy all of these sounds and paste them. into my caller folder. This is how my caller is set up right now. It's got 240 items already on it. This is the Night Stalker. 
These are all the sounds that come on the call. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste those five sounds that I just downloaded and added the numbers to. You'll see it puts them all in the front. So I'll close that out. Now, before, and I'll open that back up. Before, if I wanted to keep everything categorized, like the hows with the hows, pups, distress, and whatnot, if, say, I wanted to move the rabbit down with the rest of the rabbits, and I manually renumbered it at 090, then I'd have to, from that point on, change the number of every one of these sounds to the end. So that was very time consuming. With this program, you'll see that incorporating them into the advanced renamer, uncheck marking the add, because if we leave that check mark, this is very important. If we leave that check mark when we bring those in and batch them out, it's going to add three zeros to it again, along with the number, which I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark it active. I'm going to bring in my call list folder. And I'm going to show you, you know, the file name that's in the call list folder now. And then the new file name. It's going to add those three digit numbers in there. And you definitely don't want that happening. So uncheck it to deactivate that method to not be performed. The renumbering method now is active and you'll see it's recreated my list, renumbered them in numerical order. So me personally, I like to keep all my sounds in categories so I can move these sounds throughout my whole call list wherever I like with these four arrow keys up top here. The ones with the lines at top and at bottom will move it one, like if I click this one, it's going to move it directly to the bottom of my list. It shows there and it'll number it 245. But that's not where I want it. I want it in the middle with the rest of my fawn sounds, which are in the 160s, I believe. Yeah, right here, 169 is the first spawn. So what I'm going to have to do is i got to manually move it through using one of these arrow keys here. Since I went ahead and put it at the bottom, I'm going to have to bring it up. So unfortunately, i got to click that to move it one space at a time. And I'll click that until I see that sound coming up through my list. Unfortunately, they don't give you a big enough preface where you can see it actually happening. So there it is coming in. I'm going to go ahead and put it as my first fawn sound. So it's going to be numbered 173. And then I'll go up the rabbit sound that I downloaded. I'm going to move it down with the rest of the rabbit sounds that I have. And I'm going to go ahead and put it as my first rabbit, which is going to be 90s area. There it is coming through my list. Put it in the first position. Now it's at 090 spot. Back up to the top. The other three were Coyote House. Po oh Boy, I want first. Broken Heart, I want second. So as you see, all the new file names, it now has them all renumbered for me. Basically, at this point, we've got 245 sounds now. I start my batch. And then go to my folder. And they've all been repositioned, renumbered. Now they're ready to be copied and pasted to either the SD card on the GC line or Drive 1 and Drive 2 of the Outlaw and the Night Stalker. So hopefully it take a little time to maneuver around this system and you'll learn it quickly and be adding sounds fast and easy. So thanks for watching. Icotech, dead serious game calls and decoys.